Interesting watch I've ever seen. You haven't seen anything yet. Now just wait until that second hand reaches 60. It's almost there now. Quiet now. Listen. <laughs> what do you think of that? It's wonderful. Where did you get it? That uh, was presented to me by the King of Albania. It is my most treasured possession. What are you doing, young man? Are you blind? <laughs> Sorry, sailor. What? Such trifle. Hey, you almost knocked that guy down. You want to watch out. I did watch out. There you go again. You're going to get us in trouble. Can I help it if I'm a kleptomaniac? Do you mind if I take another look at that watch, Captain? Why, certainly not. I... Uh... Why, it's gone. Those two men. Come on. Officer, those two men stole my watch. Come on. Let's go. Beat it. Officer, you look on the outside, we look on the inside of the yard. Right. without passing by the doctor in it, do you? <laughs> get in the Navy? <laughs> you must be dampy. Come on, get your clothes off. <laughs> I'd like to see you make us take our clothes off. <laughs> oh, my <wise> guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks to you, we're in the Navy now. I'm sorry, young man. With your flat feet, we can't use you. Say. If anything's wrong with it, it won't take you here. I got an idea. You make believe you can't see anything. Stumble all around the joint. <laughs> you can't see. Oh, I see. No, you don't see. Oh. Lambert. Yes, sir. Send on the next one. Come on, you. Get in there. Yeah, come on. Take it easy. Steady. Look out, old man. Take it easy now. Take it easy, old man. Oh, steady now. All right, all right. Uh, eyesight, very bad. You very well. How are you, Doctor? What's the matter with you? Can't you see any better than that? Huh? Come here. Down here. Gosh, your hands are cold. What's the matter with you? Are you nearsighted? No, nervous. Yeah. Do you mind if I take a drink, Doc? Oh, go ahead. Say, your eyes couldn't be bad by any chance, could they? They're a little bad, Doc. Take a look at him. Can you read that sign up there? Yeah, but you got my name spelt wrong. What? Get out of here. Get out of here, you hear me? Thanks, Doc. Hey, it did swell. That was fine. 
Watch me. I'm gonna make lead on death. All right, come on. You're next. Get this walk. How old are you? Uh, Elmer. I didn't ask your name. Oh, my last name. Uh, Wagonbottom. Are you deaf? What? Are you deaf? Well, I will be on my next birthday. You'll be what on your next birthday? Uh, five foot ten and a half. That's in my flat feet. Come here. Is your deafness hereditary? No, we have uh, three girls and a boy. I mean, does deafness run in your family? Oh, uh, no. We have an old roadster. I didn't ask you anything about cars. I want to know, is it a family trait? Oh, my weight! Why do you say so? Uh, 145 and a half pounds in my stocking feet. Uh, my, uh, flat stocking feet. See? Flat. Lambert! Lambert! Yes, sir. You ought to know better to send physically unfit the crew in to see me, taking up my time. Get out of here! You think so? Let's get out of here. Listen, you clucks. I've been drilling you for two weeks, and you're worse now than when you started. We're going to try it once more. And remember, when I say halt, I mean halt. Do you get me? I get it. Shut up! Ten! Ten! Squadron! Ten! Halt! Now. I know it's a little difficult to get that all at once. So please, let's all get together. Let's get together, fellas. Come on. Yeah, he's right. Fall in! Here's your hat, Elma. Thanks. Well, but... Hey, you! Will you take that gun and shove it in your other hand? To what? Shove that gun in your other hand. Oh. <laughs> I ought to take you and trade you in for a second-hand Marine. <laughs> Shut up! Don't let him scare you, fellas. He can't fire you. Shut up! Ten, ten! Right, sir! Ten! Live! Hey! Hey, you. What do you think you're doing? What do you want for 30 bucks a month? Perfection? I said, left face! You're without a doubt the dumbest cluck I ever met up with. You're driving me nuts! Hey, fellas, you better get it right. He's getting sore now. Shut up! I ought to get an insect gun to make you bugs move. You're right, Skipper. They're pretty bad. I was talking to you, Daisy. Daisy? Let's face! Let's face! You made it! Here's your hat, Elma. Thanks, Wilbur. Now, please, as a personal favor, when I say, squad's right, you go that way. Do you understand? Well, yes, I understand, but I don't know about the rest of the boys. <laughs> ten, ten! Scratch me! Oh. 
I understand that it was a little too tough for you out there to remember. So I got a nice, easy detail for you right here, where you'll be out of the way and out of my hair. Well, what are we supposed to... Just a minute, and I'll explain it so you both can understand. Every guy who comes through that door in civilian clothes is a recruit. You ought to clip their hair, shave them, and give them a bath. Now, some of these babes might be a little too tough to handle, but don't pay no attention to them. Yeah, but how do we know that they're recruits? Didn't I just tell you that every guy who came to that door in civilian clothes was a recruit? Yeah, but I do know. You see, I like to ask questions. My mother always says, she says, tell me. Oh! Hey, look, our first customer. Hello, hello. We'll go right to work on you. We won't waste a minute. Hey, what's the idea? Orders is orders. I know, but you don't seem to understand. Uh, the key to the answer. Now, gentlemen, I'm going to make a difference. I want you to know. Present. Arms. Lieutenant, I want you to meet Count Philae Dupas, Secretary of the Sylvania Navy. How do you do, sir? How are you out? I have assigned Lieutenant Harrison to show you the base. Oh, Monsieur Capitaine, if you don't mind, I, I would like to roam about by myself. You see, I, I like to copy your methods, and I can mix with the men, and I can see more. Just uh, as you please, sir. Thank you too much. Je ne porte rien. Allez, François, je ne porte rien sur eux. Au revoir, Monsieur. Au revoir. This is good fun, Wilbur. Yeah. I'll let you take the next guy. All right. I hope he's got a lot of hair. There you are. Now, what have you been trying to tell me all the while? I've been trying to tell you that I'm not a recruit. You're not a recruit? No, I'm from the telephone company. Well, you're going in to get fumigated anyway. You're not going to make a fool out of us. Come on, man. We said the same thing. Hey, Elmer, if he's from the telephone company, we shouldn't have cut his hair off. Hey, we've used telephones, haven't we? They cut us off. <laughs> We're even. <laughs> now, listen, let me handle this. I don't want you to make any more mistakes. Uh, are you in the Navy? Am I in the Navy? <laughs> well, of course I'm in the Navy. Oh, that's all we want to know. Thank you. <laughs> now, uh, just a minute, just a minute. Oh, all right. Get over Come there. Come on, what is this? What is this? Take it easy. Oh, Take on your coat. Take on your coat. I will not. Oh, 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 oh,
Gee, ain't that lovely. Boys, I, I'm deeply touched. You know, this is my fourth hitch in this outfit, and it's the first time a sailor ever gave me anything. This almost makes me feel sorry that I treated you two punks the way I did. I mean, if I've seemed a little severe at times, well, I hope you'll forgive me. Yeah, we forgive you. Gee, and it's guaranteed for 20 years. Oh, you get more than 20 years with that. But, Capitaine, I, I am Comte du Père. Then uh, who is this other man? I, I do not know, monsieur. He or he must be an impostor. He or are my credentials, if you please. <laughs> hey! Hello, Count, how are you? Ah, je suis pas sérieux, ça va, Jena. Now you spoil everything. Ah, you're sore, because we cut your muff. Oh, no, I'm not angry, but please go. Ah, uh, yourself. You mind if I take a picture, Wilbur? All my life I've wanted to have a picture of my pal. Well, all right, you take his picture, but, but, but take it this way. Oh, come here, I'll show you. Turn around. Oh, come on, now. Here, we'll hold the camera. And yeah. hey, you, come on, come on. You've been done like that. All right, go ahead. Shall I laugh, Alma? <laughs> yeah, well, make me. <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had my picture taken one time when I was a little baby, lying on my tummy like that. You know, like a Jew? Yeah. Last week, I got a letter from my mother, and she told me that she lost the picture and wanted to know if I wouldn't have another one taken. All <laughs> 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 <Hold> that. <laughs> hey, Count, yeah. how do you... He's gone. Where'd he go? I don't know. Look. Hey, we better get busy. All right, come on. Get busy, quick. anything around here of Count Philae Dupont? No, sir. Well, he's an imposter. He's around this Navy Yard somewhere, and I'll personally reward any man who finds him. Oh, in that case, sir, he's right here, sir. Right here? Where? Uh, in the can, sir. What can? Uh, this can, sir. Look. You've got nothing on me. I do nothing here. Yes, he was just taking a picture. Oh, so that's it. Where's that camera? Right here, sir. Ah, here's the evidence. Caught red-handed, taking pictures of our fortifications. Lambert, put that man in irons. Come on, get out of there. All right, they come. Oh, oh, you brave Navy man. I am so proud of you. Allow me to congratulate you. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Wilbur, he bit me! <laughs> Wait a minute now. Wait, cut it out now. I've been around, cut it out. You are brave, little man, and I am proud of you. Speak right there, right there. What'd he say? I don't know. Men, you have rendered your country a great service. And I am going to see that you are amply rewarded. You know, I. I'm sure I've seen you someplace before. Yeah, seems to me that uh, we bumped into you someplace before. Those bells. Those familiar bells. Yeah. Pretty, ain't it? My watch. Your watch? Nah, my watch. These two guys gave it to me as a token. Wasn't that nice of them? I should say it was nice. Now I remember you. Now I promise you a reward. And I'm a man of my word. Can you imagine this a reward? From now on, keep your hands off of things that don't belong to you. They don't pay. Always remember that honesty is the best, uh, 
is the best. It don't pay. Do you get me? Elmer, you're right in everything you say. Absolutely right. But do you know? I thought the world of that watch. Well, what do you say? Here. Yeah.